why you should try dating an older woman is because she'll help you become accountable. She'll show you how to be the most loyal, amazing partner ever. And she will lead by example. So pay close attention, not to the words that she speaks, but that the actions that she takes, because the actions are what separate the fantasy from the reality. So food for thought today. Love you guys. You know, at first glance, this is actual solid advice. And to be honest, I can't find any true flaws in her message other than the obvious flaw. I have advised men many times not to follow a woman's words, but to follow her actions. In her saying, pay close attention not to the words that she speaks, but that the actions that she takes. Well, I agree 100% considering this exact same Colleen is a porn star and uses her social media to feed into her lonely fans. No way. I mean, isn't it awesome how a queen who sells her videos and pics of her getting plowed online can simultaneously feel she is qualified to give advice on how to achieve a healthy relationship with women her age? Well, well, there are plenty of beta imp chumps who give her money, I guess. Before we move on, I want to bring attention to the fact that 79% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Come on, fam. You've seen my logo on other channels, and you're already here. Please hit that subscribe button and support the channel. It really helps out. Moving on. So I've been single since 2017. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to be single, but I don't put a whole lot of effort into not being single. Yeah. Um, I'm on a dating app. Hinge, I know you've heard of it. Yeah, so every once in a while, I'll just delete it and think, yeah, I'm good. I don't need anybody. And then I'm like, no, I don't want to be alone. So I, you know, download the app again. And I have a problem because when somebody who is so attractive tries to talk to me, I'm like, no, sir. Maybe my confidence is like really low now that I'm older, but I'm like, no, what do you want with me? Like, look at you, look at me. Mm. And then I feel like it's a scam. Anyone else? Dating in your 40s sucks. It sucks. It's absolute malarkey. We can just agree on that. Now, this is a proper example of expectation management. She recognized what Chad slash Tyrone want from her. Although I applaud her, I have to point out the not so obvious obvious. Do any of you actually think she came up with this conclusion off rip? Oh, hell no. Nah, son. Any man who has experienced dating women like her will tell you that more than likely... In her youth, she was always choosing the bad boys. Now that she is post-walled and that roast beef has been pounded more times than a railroad spike, she realizes that she is in the recreational use only category by the men above her SMV. Basically, target practice. A bench warmer. A ringer. Not a first round draft pick anymore. If you're a halfway attractive woman in her 40s who is back on the dating market, there is a high probability the issue is you. Sorry there, Coeens, but with you leading that 70% plus divorce rate, there really is little to no sympathy for you being in your current situation. You need to find yourself, right? Well, you found yourself being the next booty call on Hinge. Pathetic. Moving on. Well, I'm learning a lot now that I'm dating after not dating for many years. The first is that I actually enjoy being people-y. I usually avoid people, but he has taken me out amongst the people and I actually enjoy it. So that was a big change for me, but I'm getting used to it. The next thing I'm learning is how to communicate my feelings and to allow someone else to communicate theirs. After being alone for so long, I just never spoke about how I felt. And so that's been a new experience. Another biggie is compromise. When you get to be our age, there are some things that are non-negotiable. And for him, he quit drinking 12 years ago and he's requested that I not drink when I'm around him. And I've been able to do that, except, you know, I can still, I'm still allowed to drink when I'm at home. So, yeah. Let me get this straight. This grand elder post-wall dating queen, aka grandma, is on the dating apps trying to get her groove back. Needed a man to teach her not to be a hermit. How to actually communicate her feelings and how to compromise at the age of 60. I mean, don't get me wrong. As to being a homebody is one thing, but everything else so far, she hasn't mastered yet. Anyone else wonder why she is single? I mean, damn. This Nana has got that Kung Fu wine glass grip at mastery level, but still is working on a relationship. I wouldn't be surprised if she has a recycle bin full of 
empty boxes of wine in her garage. Look, I am glad she is making progress, but this shows how the modern, strong, and independent movement has left Western women with a combination of low social skills and high ABV intake. In all honesty, do modern Western women actually think all that empowerment indoctrination is worth it when, in the long run, they can end up like this wine-tasting granny who has to now learn the foundations of a healthy relationship? No, 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 no. My house used to be my sanctuary. It was where I went to be away from people. But we live 1.2 miles from each other. So we're constantly each other's houses, like all the time. And I actually enjoy it. I'm, I'm comfortable with someone being in my house, which is a kind of a big deal for me. And the last thing, kind of embarrassing, is I enjoy being physical now. I mean, I went through menopause, I'm, you know, I thought that part of me was, <laughs> but it's not, <laughs> and I'm actually comfortable, you know, being, you know, cuddling with somebody else. So I'm learning a lot and I'll keep you guys posted. And if you're, you know, 60 or above and you're afraid of dating, maybe they'll run into your old high school crush like I did. So anyway, hope you had a great Thursday. It's Friday Eve. Yay. Bye. Gee, she coincidentally ran into her old high school crush? Yeah, somehow this just doesn't seem like an original romantic movie of titanic proportions. In fact, Elder Postwalk Queen's Facebook stalking someone they dated in the past, hoping they are available, seems to be the norm these days. And to be honest, this granny letting the internet know her beef jerky is once again getting a flow of moisture isn't something we all wanted to know. Trust me, Nana, the intimacy of your downstairs plumbing may sound great to you, but most people don't want to hear about you getting your freak on. For as much as a Disney film this geriatric spinster wants to make her story sound, and I am sure there are female viewers who want it to look like some kind of later-in-life love story, it can be summed up as an old female hermit who hit up her high school sweetheart in her 60s in order to get some juices flowing back into her loins. And let's not kid ourselves. If the guy she is dating could get a younger woman, you can bet a five-star restaurant meal. He would be dipping his toes, among other things, in the waters of a younger tropical beach, rather than looking through a dry old desert trying to find a wet oasis. Old. Old? Old. Moving on! I'm going to start documenting all of my dating history so you guys can see what it's like as a single woman over 40 that's trying to date in this generation. I've been stood up, ghosted, lied to, all in a matter of three months. Different people. And I know you're gonna say, oh, you should choose better people. Here is my theory. High value women are not considered worthy because our standards and expectations are too high. So men will go for lower value women because they're lower maintenance. And when I mean lower maintenance, I'm not talking about the type of house you live in or what you look like. I'm talking about your character and your integrity, who you are and your core and what you stand for, your beliefs, your morals, your ethics, your standards, your expectations. Lower expectations equals lower effort, lower maintenance. Higher expectations equals higher maintenance. More effort, more than the bare minimum. Ladies, let me explain something to all of you. Now, when you are dating in your 40s, aka post-war smashing, and you want to attract the highest quality man possible, well, you may want to present yourself different from your competition. What I mean is, having a nose ring doesn't make you 20 again. And if a man wants a woman with a nose ring, he will date one in her 20s. Also, when she said she has been stood up, ghosted, and lied to in a dating span of three months, I will bet lunch at any sandwich shop that at least a dozen of my male viewers hollered, cry me a river, sister. That sounds like an average week of 
dates for a guy. Oh, who are you? As to her theory of high-value women, let me give her and my female viewers some game on that. You cannot choose or label yourself as a high-value woman for obvious reasons. What? What are you talking about? Okay, let me break this down for those of you possessing a uterus and heptic emotional reactions. Men can only call themselves high value based on the general conditions that women consider high value, i.e. a man is high value because he possesses several things women want. In that same thought process, ladies, women cannot use the measurements they have for men to call themselves high value. Men will decide your value there, sweetie. Not fair. You say that so often. wonder what your basis for comparison is. Now, this plays directly into her claim of her believing that being higher maintenance and demanding more from men somehow translates into being some kind of evidence of a high-value woman. Er, wrong, thanks for playing. Although not being a carousel rider does help raise your value, that has an expiration date to it. And just because you demand more does not mean you are worth more. Think of it as like a burger joint. Just because you raise the prices of your cheeseburgers, it doesn't magically make them taste any better. But then, you can't understand why no customers are making orders for what's in between your buns. I am worth more than the bare minimum. I am worth more than a phone call or a text every few days. I am worth what I give and put out. And not that kind of putting out. I mean the time, the energy, the love, the kindness, the compassion. That all comes from a genuine place. So yeah, I value women. High value man would want to put in the energy and the effort. So even though you may think you are high value, you're really not. Because you're not going for what is better, you're just going for what is easier. I'm not bitter or angry. I'm just tired. I'm tired of being stood up. I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of being ghosted. I'm tired of being misled. I'm tired of feeling things that are not being reciprocated. It's exhausting. There are some good men and women out there. But you guys gotta show up and just be yourself. And put in the energy and put in the time and put in the commitment. If you're not willing to do that, then don't bother. It's okay if you don't want to. Just leave people alone. This queen keeps putting out the same old spiel about what she is worth and how she demands more than the minimum. Well, to that, I say, if you think you are worth that, then set the price as high as you want there, queen. But guess what? It was your choice to set a high price. So why in the hell are you making these internet videos crying because the men you are attracted to refuse to pay your high price? Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> And the delusion this post-wall smashing queen has is amazing. Since she can't pull in a high-value man, well, she goes with the uh, default teenager attitude of shaming. I mean, according to her logic, a man who makes a quarter mil a year that doesn't bend over backwards for her is not a high-value man. <laughs> Sweetie, you are older and lonely. He is a high-earning man. He would be the prize, and you are the one competing for him with other women, especially women younger than you. By the way, bitter and angry is exactly what you are sounding like there, sweetie. If you can't lock down a high-value man, maybe it's because you are trying to get someone out of your league. And let me translate what she is tired about from womanese. She is tired of being treated like the side chick and never the main. Also, the good men, aka the high-value men this queen wants a ring from, are being themselves. Sure, they will take her out and smash while selling her the dream, because she wants the dream sold to her instead of the reality that she is in the for recreational use only category. Fatality. Flawless victory. I'm just saying, if you enjoy this audit, click on the video in the end screen for more content. If you would like to support the channel, please follow the link in the description to donate to our beer fund. Or like, subscribe, and share this video on other social media platforms. If you agree or disagree with anything about this audit, please let us know in the comments. I'm going to leave this audit right here. I'll see all of you in the next episode.